Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast for January 20 through the 26th. We're going to click here and click here. We're going to connect here and see what's going on with this deck here. And then we're going to pick a tarot card for you from this deck here to see what your tarot card for the week is. But also because this deck has affirmations that come with it. So you guys, you're going to have an affirmation for the week. So let's see what's happening for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead. Oh gosh, I'm getting chilly. I'm going to have to put my grandma sweater on here in a second. Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That doesn't feel right to me. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There we go. Okay. So, Monday, Tuesday, my dears, we have ten of swords. Scorpio, in true Scorpio fashion, you are over it. You're just, you're not having it. There's something that you are having no more of, okay? I know ten of swords is a card that scares a lot of people when it comes up. Now, I have said this in other videos, and I will say it again in this one. Me personally as a reader and some other readers get upset when I say this and they kind of accuse me of being a Pollyanna. Like I'm like, oh, it's okay and everything's wonderful and everything is light. And that's not what I'm saying. But in my experience, every time I have pulled 10 of swords, whether for myself or for one of my long-term clients that I've had since back in the day where they come to me for years and I'm able to see what's happening for them in between the readings, Anytime I've pulled Ten of Swords, it's been right before something really good happens because you're putting an end to something that's been holding you back. Anytime I've left a toxic job or had a positive career change or met like a really wonderful person, I've always had Ten of Swords come up for myself in my card pulls you know, before that change, before that shift, and also for people that I've read for. So I want you to understand what Ten of Swords means. Uh, it can also be breaking out of an addiction, okay? So whatever's been holding you back or sabotaging, maybe there was something you were holding on to as, as, as a crutch. Maybe it was uh, a job that you weren't leaving out of fear, but it's been holding you back and treating you like crap or a relationship, or maybe you've had this toxic partner that you just haven't been able to get over, um, or maybe it's been a habit or a behavior. Maybe you were smoking a lot of weed, or maybe you were, uh, you know, smoking, or maybe you were being really like having a bunch of different partners, or looking for uh, comfort through physical intimacy, or being a workaholic, or sugar, or food, or whatever. But you're beginning to... Uh, stop those behaviors like like not just beginning to stop those behaviors you're done you're like I'm not doing that anymore I'm not going to cling to that cycle I'm not going to cling to that addiction so ten of swords cannot just it's not only putting an end to a, a negative cycle it can be recovering from an addiction now Scorpio if this isn't you if this isn't your energy know that you might be dealing with someone Monday Tuesday that is overcoming an addiction of theirs and you may be a significant person in their life as they're going through that change but I feel for the majority of you, you guys are making a big change and you're making a change for the better. Something that is better for you emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. Some of you might be recovering from uh, some addictive behaviors or sabotaging behaviors and you're realizing that, you know what, there's just certain people I'm going to have to cut out of my life, right? So it could be that you're really putting an end to any Thing that's getting in the way of this healthy or positive change like this job isn't good for me because it's causing way too much stress and it's causing me to to not be able to take care of myself or it's very abusive or this relationship isn't good for me because it's making me do things that are not good for me or, or holding me back from meeting somebody better or whatever it might be you're putting an end to something negative. You're not having it anymore. You're like, I'm done. I'm over it. I'm out. I'm moving on. And it's bittersweet. You're the one making the decision to put an end to it, but it is bittersweet. And you can expect for big doors to open up as a result of this decision. Let's go ahead and check out your Wednesday, Thursday. For Wednesday, Thursday, my dear, we have King of Cups. All right. Very interesting. 
This could be you, Scorpio, uh, kind of connecting with your masculine energies. We all have feminine and masculine energies within ourselves. So, uh, Scorpio, you are a water sign. And so this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. It could be you connecting with your water energy. It could be you connecting with another water sign. The King of Cups is kind of my card for like father, father figure, husband kind of energy. So if you are married, it could be something in which the marriage is becoming a focal point of your life midweek. Or you may be manifesting some kind of uh, marriage-like relationship or partner. Uh, the thing with um, the King of Cups is this is going to be more of an emotionally intimate relationship. Okay, more so than say King of Pentacles or King of Swords or King of Wands. Um, this is going to be more in the center of emotions. It's, this is also a generosity, abundance. Uh, so you might be having some big successes financially. Uh, you know, you might be, you know, kind of coming into more balanced forms of generosity. This is a general reading. And there's a lot of different ways that King of Cups can come up into a reading and that's why I try to go over the different scenarios because not every single one of you Scorpios is having the same exact experience at the same exact time but looking at it intuitively uh, I do feel that for many of you there's an opportunity that's going to be coming in midweek that you are being encouraged to seize this opportunity it could be that somebody is wanting to come in and kind of mentor you or take you under their wing in some way and it may not start off romantic um, but I do feel that for some of you this is something that may transition into that realm okay uh, maybe king of cups is thinking that maybe you're not thinking about that in, in, in the moment but it could be something where uh, you know, someone is wanting to like take you under their wing and mentor you and they're being generous in some way or they're helping you. They're making you some kind of offer from the goodness of their heart. OK, um, I don't feel that there's like a quid pro quo here. It doesn't feel like you're being given an ultimatum. It's not like some creepy, slimy thing where they're like, well, if you want my help, here's what you're going to have to do. You know, it's it's not it's not something creepy like that. But for some of you, it may transition into, you know, something, you know, personal or romantic. Not for every single one of you, but I am feeling that vibe here. Okay. It, it is a general reading. Energies will apply in different ways. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here is the Six of Swords. Maybe some of you are being invited by a very generous person to go away for a bit. They might sense or they might see that you've been through a lot. And they might be inviting you to go away for a weekend. They might be inviting you to uh, spend some time away and just kind of decompress. Um, Six of Swords can indicate actual travel, taking some time away. But it would be leisure travel or travel in the sense sometimes it can be a relocation. So if you are taking a trip, you might be taking a trip in a way where you might be thinking of, hmm, you know, maybe I want to live here. Like, what, what are the apartments like? What are the houses like? What are the jobs like? Like, what are the people like? So you might be planning a trip or preparing a trip because you're thinking about getting a fresh start somewhere else. Six of Swords, even if you're not traveling, it's just getting away from drama, okay? Like, you're done with drama. So whatever was happening with that Ten of Swords where you're making a decision that you're done with something... Ten of Swords can definitely be a card that is indicating, I mean, Six of Swords can definitely be indicating that you're leaving a situation that was causing a lot of unwanted and unnecessary drama in your life. Like you're just completely disconnecting from it. I do feel for some of you, Scorpio, if you're a Scorpio, um, where you have had issues with a father or father figure in your life, uh, something or someone is coming in in a positive cycle of healing that, right? So it could be uh, like a, a, a supervisor or somebody at work who is kind of stepping in and, you know, mentoring you or speaking kindly to you or training you in a way that maybe you haven't received in your life. It could be um, uh, you know, a friend, it could be for some of you, even a relationship, but something where 
spirit or universe is bringing about healing that aspect or that side of you. Some opportunity coming in midweek. It'll be different for different ones of you. Um, you know, maybe for some of you, it's just even within yourself. Like you might be doing some soul work. You might have something come to you in a meditation or um, in, in a dream that is like an epiphany that is bringing about healing to that part of yourself. But I do feel you'll also be experiencing it in some way, in some angle in the physical world. Um, where there's some kind of validation or some kind of redemption, some kind of healing uh, for those of you that maybe you did not have uh, a, 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 the best connection with a father figure or men in your life in general. Um, there could be something coming in like as a place of that where, where it's like it's, it's healing that in some way. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot card for the week and see what the affirmation is. <sighs> the fool. You're 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 leaving. You're jumping ship. You're jumping ship, my babies. We're we're done, Scorpios. We're out. We're Audi. Remember they used to say we're Audi five thousand. <laughs> I don't think anybody says that anymore, and it didn't last very long. I don't even know what it meant. I was like, what? How did how did that come to be? But Scorpios, you guys are like, bye bye. Uh, you guys are not dealing with the drama anymore. The Fool card is a major Arcana card, so the chances are whatever decisions you're making this week, Scorpio. It's going to carry through for you for a while. This isn't something that's going to be a matter of seven days. This is a whole new journey. You're going in a whole new direction, okay? When the Fool card comes up, we might be feeling guided to go in a direction that's not going to make a lot of sense to a whole lot of people. And this could be something that's manifesting over the next 30 days or so, okay? But the fool card is like you're going in this direction where you're making choices or decisions that might not make sense to a lot of other people. You are being encouraged to look before you leave to take, you know, educated risks, so to speak. But you're ready to change things up and you're letting go of the old, you know, quote unquote securities, the security blankets. Right. If any of us have dealt with children you know, like at some point they're like, you know, getting older and they got the they got the blankie and it's got all the stains and all the holes in it. And it's it's time to let blankie go. Right. So you're letting go of that security blanket. You don't need it anymore. It's an illusion. It's a facade. It's not keeping you safe in any way. In fact, it's holding you back and it's hindering you from progress. And that's what that Ten of Swords was. And now you're coming into taking that leap of faith into the new direction um into a new life into a new way of being for some of you this king of cups is going to be uh an offer that might be taking you away from home whatever home is to you it could be a business agreement it could be the offer of a relationship but whatever it is that's coming in i feel like you're going for it and like I said, keep in mind, because we have got the full card coming up here, we had a really crazy full moon in Cancer. We had that that wolf moon that was just, oof, it was something. And it came in with that eclipse energy. So we're going to be feeling that energy over the next six months. So if you don't have the offer coming in this week, it could be in the next 30 days, 30 to 60 days, maybe even, uh, because you're coming into a cycle. When we see the major arcana cards, we're coming into a cycle. Let's go ahead and take a look at the oof, um, affirmation that's coming in here for us Scorpios. All right, so the affirmation, my dears, it is, I know that a spiritual approach rarely appears logical and sometimes even seems impractical. However, when this card appears, I can take a risk and trust that with faith, anything is possible. The invisible realms will reveal each step along the way. 
I am meant to experience this regardless of where I travel. This is a time when I'm learning that I am a spiritual being having a human experience. So here, my dears, is the affirmation. If you want to take a screenshot or write it down, I highly suggest and recommend, my dears, that you guys do this the first thing in the morning when you wake up and the last thing at night before you go to sleep. Uh, what I like to do is I'll wake up in the morning, I'll light my candle, I'll light my incense, I'll say my affirmation out loud, I'll say my morning prayers, I'll do my little morning meditation, and I'll put my candle out, I'll put the incense out, go about my day, and then at night, you know, I'll do that again and then go to bed. The reason why I feel it's best to do it first thing in the morning and last thing at night is your brain is shifting consciousness at that time. It's going from subconscious to conscious and vice versa. So it's a good way of reprogramming yourself, planting that seed, that little mental thought so that it can grow in there and become more automatic. Now, if you don't like the thing with the candle and the incense, please don't feel like you got to do that stuff if it freaks you out or makes you uncomfortable or you don't like it or you can't do it because of where you live. You can do it however you want to do it. You know, find a way to make it your own. But, you know, you can say it as, any, as many times as you want throughout the day. You can do it at a different time of day. But if you want to try the morning and night approach, it might be helpful or beneficial. It's been helpful for me. I encourage you guys to watch your moon sign and rising sign video. It might bring more information for you. It might resonate more. Uh, and if you want more love and romance, watch the love readings that are linked in the description. If you want more angel messages, click on the channeled angel messages for January. And if you would like a private reading, click on the Calendly link in the description of the video and you can schedule there. If you're enjoying the videos, but you, you don't want to wait all week, every single day on Facebook and Instagram, I post a card of the day with a message and I do a pick a card. So technically there's two cards a day on the social media. If you want to keep up with those in between the weekly videos, please feel free to do so and join me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I am wishing you a fabulous week, my dears. Take care, Scorpio.